Light gauge steel framing systems versus light timber framing systems by Taylor Maroos and Stephen Glover. The goal of this project is to effectively compare and contrast light gauge steel framing and light timber framing. After analyzing these two different framing systems, the project will come to a finalized conclusion regarding which building material is most preferred. The factors we took into great consideration while compiling our analysis consisted of sustainability, durability, availability, workability, and affordability. Here is a diagram of different components that make up a light gauge steel frame. On average, the materials used to construct this type of frame cost anywhere from $95 to $105 per square foot. If a basic 2,000 square foot home were to be built using light gauge steel, the total cost of materials would range from $190,000 to $210,000. Light gauge steel is strong and lightweight, enabling buildings to rise higher and span greater distances with a lighter structure and less material. Light gauge steel will also hold up better to environmental forces like wind and rain. Light gauge steel members are lightweight, making them very easy to handle. They also have truer dimensions, making it possible to build perfectly straight walls. Overall, they provide for a very clean and efficient process with little or no scraps. Steel is also very durable. It won't change shape or deteriorate with varying degrees of temperature or humidity. It is immune from animal attack like termites. It is also non-combustible and fire resistant. Lastly, steel is completely recyclable. Approximately three quarters of the ingredients of new steel comes from recycled steel. Virtually all steel will at some point be recycled. Light gauge steel framing is a growing building practice, and with that comes a few disadvantages. Light gauge steel is less available, usually ordered directly from the manufacturer or from a regional supplier. There are less workers, and collectively those workers have less experience in the trade. There are less options as far as fasteners. All of these factors add time and money making light gauge steel framing slightly more expensive. Slow on the site labor can be overcome with panelization in which prefabricated walls are delivered directly to the job site. However, in most cases, a light gauge steel frame is going to cost more money. Light gauge steel may be fire resistant, but if the internal components of that building catch fire, the steel frame loses strength very quickly with the rising temperatures, becoming very unsafe. Light gauge steel is recyclable, but iron ore is not a renewable resource. Despite much improvement, steel production remains a very energy intensive process with high carbon emissions. Additionally, mining in the past has been linked with air and water quality problems. Here is a diagram of different components that make up a light timber frame. On average, the materials used to construct this type of frame cost anywhere from $65 to $85 per square foot. If a basic 2,000 square foot home were to be built using light timber, the total cost of materials would range from $130,000 to $170,000. Since the earliest of times, light timber framing has proved that the structural properties of wood are suitable for carrying and transferring loads in a building structure. After numerous technological advances in the 19th century, it became very clear that wood framing was the vastly superior option. For over a century, builders and carpenters have been gaining experience and mastering the technique of light wood framing. The overall process is a smooth operation 
due to the abundance of highly accustomed workers that obtain the skills to properly erect this type of frame. In addition, the materials required for a light timber framing system are readily available and significantly more affordable than other building components. Light timber framing materials are also highly ranked for sustainability. Since more trees are grown than harvested in North America, our sustainable forestry minimizes the impact on ecosystems. Wood is the only renewable building material and as a result, it is frequently turned to while choosing the best choice for a building's framing system. Although wood seems to be the perfect material for a framing system, all lumber will have minor flaws, such as bows and knots. These problems can cause a headache in some situations, but experienced framers and builders can overcome lumber imperfections with little difficulty. The durability of lumber is one of the only negative factors in regards to constructing a light timber framing system. Since lumber is a highly combustible material, a great deal of care must be taken to protect the structural components and prevent the spread of fire throughout the building. Wood is susceptible to environmental elements, if not properly protected. As a result, lumber can shrink and crack with changing humidity. It can also rot if overexposed to moisture. However, when it is adequately protected, wood framing structures can last for hundreds of years. In conclusion, light gauge steel and light wood framing are both very similar in design and application, but one of these framing systems stands above the other. When a building is erected using a timber framing system, there is less cost and energy involved compared to a steel framing system, which requires a significantly larger budget as well as a very energy intensive process with high carbon emissions. Although both materials have an important role in the building construction, Light timber framing is a more sustainable building practice and therefore the overall best choice.